What's up guys, Marcus here from Studio and Expert. And in this video, I wanted to take a look at the three ways that we have available in Studio One to import a tempo map. Now, tempo maps are a pretty common thing and what they're used for is kind of a carrying case or a container uh, for tempo changes, time signature changes, and markers and things like that. They're extremely useful when you're collaborating with other people or you're working across different DAWs or different sessions. Now, I've done a video previously on how to import tempo maps into Studio One, but with version 3.5, we actually have two alternate ways or two new ways that we can import tempo maps into existing sessions, which is very welcomed. But first off, to start off with, let's have a look at the traditional method. So if I head over to the start page over here, and I've got a finder window, let's just go ahead and bring this up. I've got two files over here, either a .mid file or a .midi. This works with both of them. If you go ahead and just drag this into the, the start page window over here and let go, you'll see, do you want to load general MIDI sounds for this file? Let's go ahead and click no. It's gonna go ahead and create a new session. Now, the advantage of using this type of workflow where you drag and drop and import into a new session, uh, first off is that it gives the name and the actual session of the MIDI file. If you wanted to rename that, we can just go ahead and go into the rename section over here to quickly rename this. But if we open up the tempo track, you'll notice that we have the tempo changes, we have the time signature changes, but in addition to that, and something that's very, very useful, is we also have the marker track. If I open that up, you'll see that it's brought in any markers that I had as well from my original session, which was created. And this would work with third-party DWs as well. One of the byproducts of working like this is that it's automatically gonna open up in 44.1. So you'll see here it's created 44.1 for the sample rate. So if I do wanna change that, I have to change that from the start or I could change it further down the line, but then my files are just gonna get cached. And the other thing is that we can only do this from the beginning point of our workflow. So this has to be the first step. So let's just go ahead here for a second and I'm gonna to go to my song setup and let's just change this over to 48. I'll go ahead and apply that, click okay. All right. Now we also have another workflow as well, which is that now in 3.5, we can drag and drop MIDI files into the arrange window. So let's go over to our song setup over here. I've got a different song setup for this and I've got some files over here in my browser. And like I said, they're both .mid and .midi and it works with both. So we've got two different workflows and essentially they each have something slightly different about them. So the first workflow we'll have a look at is holding down Option Command or Alt Control on a PC and dragging a MIDI file into the arrange window, you'll see that we have import tempo in brackets. If I let go of that, we don't have it at all. If I bring it back, we've got that import tempo. So as long as you hold down those two modifier keys and we drag and drop this right into our arrange window, you can see that we now have the tempo map in terms of the tempo changes and also the time signatures over here, which are really important uh, because a tempo map is essentially useless unless you have the time signatures to go with it. Now, one thing about this drag and drop, as of this version 3.5 at the time I'm doing this video, it does not bring in the markers. I got to be honest with you, I really wish it would bring in the markers, but it doesn't. So if you need the markers to come in, it's absolutely essential. Then you can go ahead and use the first method where we drag and drop into the start page. But if you don't need the markers, then this is one method that we can use. So I'll show you just over here as well. We can also do it with a .midi file, same thing. Option, Command, Alt, Control on a PC, drag to my arrange window, let go. We've got our time signature changes up top here, and we've also have our tempo information. Now, if you just need the tempo map, just need the tempo changes, and let's say you're working in a 4-4 BPM, it's a pretty standard pop track, but you do have some tempo changes, then we have another method that we can do over here. We can drag and drop into the actual tempo section over here in Studio One. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna hold down these modifiers and I'm gonna drag and drop over here. And you can see that it's snapping because I have my snapping on. I can snap this to an exact bar. Now this is really, really handy. 
So I've just gone ahead and dragged this in over here. And it also works with the MIDI file, same thing, same two modifier keys. And we can also just go ahead, let's just drag this one into bar 25. So you could have a tempo map start from a given point. But the thing with this one is you have to make sure that you know what time signature you're working at. Now, uh, just a slight, I guess, I'm not sure if this is uh, intended or this just happens or if it's something to slip through the cracks, but we can also go without the modifier keys, we can drag and drop. But if we position right here, right on this black line over here, we can essentially have the same workflow as when we drag to the start page, which would essentially create a brand new session altogether. Uh, I'm not sure why they have that there, to be honest with you. I would much prefer uh, that I just did a drag and drop right over here. Uh, but if you do drag right on this little black line in between these sections, at least on a Mac, then it gives you the option to open the MIDI file uh, and it's going to create a new session. So just something to be aware of. So just to recap, we have our drag and drop to the start page. If we need our markers, time signature changes, and the tempo map, if we need the tempo map and time signature changes, we can do an option command or alt control and drag a MIDI file to the arrange window. And then we will get both our time signature changes and our tempo map. And then lastly, we have our drag and drop to the tempo track over here. And you don't have to hold down the modifier keys with this workflow. And like I said, this is just going to import the tempo map, but no time signature information. So a couple different ways that we can do things. So anyways, I hope you guys got something from this and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.